Coming up on next week's Red Eye, a Tucker Carlson repeat. <laughs> Ah, yes, since the announcement that Red Eye is going away, our Twitter feed has been filled with messages like these. I'm sick that Red Eye is leaving. Sick! I'm finding it disturbing how much I think I'm going to miss the show. Don't let them take you alive. I started watching Fox because of Red Eye. Disbelief came over me while I screamed profanities at this dreadful news. This is so wrong in so many ways. What will I do without my Red Eye? Red Eye is a special, unique, and beloved show to so many fans. I am heartsick over this cruel decision by FNC. No! <laughs> Fox News, no. I'm heartbroken. Absolutely devastated. <laughs> I finally got a part-time job, but I am getting evicted because I can't get a loan. <laughs> That's super fan wow. Snake Man. Wow. Wow. He tells it like it is. Yeah. Now, why is it that people use emotional terms like these when talking about a low-budget panel show that's on in the middle of the night? Because we have fun here. That's why. What we do here is a very simple formula. We're not trying to teach you anything. We're not really fond of preaching. We don't crush anybody. We just want to hang out and talk. And we've never taken ourselves or the news we discuss too seriously. Have we, Greg? Never. And a lot is said about diversity in television. Isn't that true? But in terms of diversity of opinion, I'll put this show up against any show on any network, cable news or otherwise. Line them up! Right, brother? Yes, sir. Line them up! <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, on the palatial estate that is Fox News, Red Eye was always the guest house out back. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> and we were all its Cato Kalins. <laughs> <laughs> Having a never ending party on someone else's expense, expense account. <laughs> and two years ago, the party almost got shut down. And we inexplicably turned the lights back on and kept it going. Do you guys understand that? Every show for the past two years has been gravy. Greg, mm -hmm. you conned Fox News into giving you a show, and then I conned them into letting me continue it. Isn't that fantastic? I told them that you were dying. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that, you would possibly, you could possibly live a bit longer if you had a show. Yes. And it, 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 it worked. Wow. The well, problem is you told him he was going to die in two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. I should have said you five. You said five. Yes. And you could have helped yeah. us out a little bit, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. I didn't want to ask for too much. Yeah. Well, wasn't it great that we kept Red Eye going for the fans while you kind of worked out the kinks in your own show? Yes. <laughs> and now... <laughs> Now that's going great, guys, yes, and they can amazing. just they can flock yeah. over there. I mean, that's really the, the, if there is a silver lining to the sad night, it's that I'm doing great. <laughs> <laughs> certainly is. It's more of a copper lining. Yes. <laughs> but Tom, if you if you love the show so much, why'd you phone it in so many times? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's a precious thing. Why'd you, like, you were... Was that the of... thing, you know, during the commercial? Oh, no, I said... <laughs> what I do want to say... I, can I say something well, sincere? I, do I want to say, say yeah, go sincere. for it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was it. <laughs> I do want to say one thing, that we saw a, a brief moment uh, for the first red eye of Andrew Breitbart, mm -hmm. who in many yeah. ways was like the, kind of the... No, I wouldn't say the creative guide here, but like he was the inspiration for Red Eye, for what you guys are doing. It was a, it was a great show. It didn't take itself too seriously. Uh, I will, as a viewer, I will really miss it. Andrew, and that's, that's true. trivia, and you know this... I sent Andrew, I read an article of his one time, and I sent him an email. I looked him up online, I sent him an email, I said, I love you. And he emailed me back immediately, and then he picks up the phone, he calls me, and he's like, you've got to meet Greg Gutfeld. And so I met him in a gay bar on the Upper West Side. I, met, I went into this bar, the Candle Bar, and I said, meet me at the Candle Bar. I didn't know it was a gay bar, you know, what do I know? Of course he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. No. no, what is this what strange is, bar? Yeah, I've never been to. To. What, is, what a great sports bar. All yeah. these guys here are shirtless. There was. Hi, Tom. Are you going to sing tonight? <laughs> no, no, I'm here to meet somebody. Keep, keep, there was keep. a lot of guys in tank tops, and we were, he said you were coming, too. <laughs> He said, Greg is coming, and then he, you never showed up. And then I'm sitting here, you know, we're playing Galaga in the bar. And then yeah. that's, but then eventually, oh, that he recommended me to... <laughs> Wait, who was Galaga? Yeah. <laughs> it was Galaga the game uh, uh, yeah. that we played. Anyway, he recommended me to you. That's what started this all, Greg. Yes. Andrew Breitbart. Listen, guys, this is it. Very special thanks to Dave, Dagan McDowell, John DeVore, Rob Long, Greg Gutfeld. Greg, uh, I love you. <laughs> Look at the edge, I got it. TV's Andy Levy. But most of all, you, the Red Eye fans. The fans, you know who you are. I can't thank you all. Stay in touch. Stay in touch. Go to my website. I'm not going anywhere. Stick around. I'm Tom Chalou. That does it for me. Good night.